In this video, we will give an overview of sections 4.4 and 4.5 on the chain rule. So in the textbook, technically they cover the chain rule just in section 4.4. And in section 4.5, they talk about how to do derivatives of e to the x and ln of x, which we've already seen before. I introduced them back in section, I think, 4.3 on product and quotient rules. So we're going to combine some of that discussion from 4.5 into this section on chain rule. Okay, so our goals for this section are first, we'll introduce what the chain rule is. And it's a rule that helps us take derivatives of functions that look like f of g of x. So a composition of functions, a function inside of another function. And recognize when and how to apply that chain rule. Our second goal is, do more examples. The chain rule is one of the most important rules to just do a bunch of practice with. The best way to get comfortable with the chain rule and how it works is to do a bunch of examples. All right, after that, we will prove why the derivative of ln of x equals one over x. And we'll use log properties to take certain derivatives. And then finally, we'll do an application example. So we'll do an example involving the chain rule to a cost revenue profit problem. 